What's up everybody? Today I'm hiking the Animus Mountain Trail in Durango, Colorado. It's a six mile loop. I'm probably going to just do half of it. It's easy to find on all trails and uh, I highly recommend it. You get to climb up the mountain and explore this beautiful area. You uh, rarely run into other people so it's just very beautiful here and as you can see, you can see the mountains from afar and it's just very beautiful here. Uh, there's also another trail that I hiked and uh, it was also uh, beautiful, but it was very hot. So if you're coming in the summer, uh, you can't really stay out for long. I may have only hiked it for 10 minutes before I called it quits. That was the Animus River Trail, another famous trail in Durango. Other than the trails here, uh, Durango is known for the food. The railroad that takes you from Durango all the way down to Silverton, which is another city. That's a all day adventure that you can book. They also have some hot springs here, but um, let's just be frank. I, I have a budget and it is hot, hot, hot. So uh, hot springs plus hot summer, not the best of times, but uh, they're rather affordable. I checked the prices online. You can get a all day pass for just $39 for an adult. So there's also whitewater rafting, whitewater tubing, um, plenty of really cool stuff like that and then you can also check out the downtown area for me I'm only here for a day so I'm going to gonna focus on the nature and hikes which are free and the most amazing I've done enough museum tours they also have a museum here um, I've done enough botanical gardens they have a botanical garden here that's awesome too and I've done enough of a lot of different things, so this is really where I want to spend my time with the hikes. I've done hot springs as well um, in Costa Rica, so check it out if you want to check out those other places. I also recommend starting at their Welcome Center because they'll give you all the tips and all the best things to do, including packets on live free concerts going on every day. There's a lot of local bands who perform here across various parts. And then of course, uh, if you use Google, there are so many restaurants here from grass-fed uh, burger restaurants like Grass Burger that are highly rated to pizza places like Home Slice. Um, those are amazing. There's even a chocolate factory here, a little place called Animus Chocolate. Amazing stuff. And then um, you won't see all the chain stores here. There's no CVS here, but there is a Walgreens. There is a Walmart. There is a... Uh, Subway, so there's some staples that I recognize here that's pretty awesome. And then, yeah, just explore here. In the summer, I think the best thing to do is whitewater raft. And once again, you know, uh, I have limited time here, so I can't spend it whitewater rafting, especially since I already paid a boatload to do it in a previous uh, city in Colorado. But highly recommend it. If I had more time and I was you and it was summer, I would definitely go whitewater rafting. There's a ton of people on the water right now. Or at least go tubing or canoeing or kayaking. They have plenty of stations here. Uh, the, the city is very accessible to drive to. It's rather flat. The drive was really smooth. Um, I've had much harder times around other areas of Colorado where it's all uphill, like uh, something like Leadville, Colorado. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I had a, a, a bit harder of a time in other places like on the East Coast even, like uh, Asheville, North Carolina. So fairly easy to get to if you type it into the GPS. Just make sure you drink some water and stuff. There's not as many hotels, barely any Airbnbs in this area. So you really have to plan ahead or stay somewhere else and then drive here just for a day. So hopefully you found those tips valuable. Once again, if I had more time and I wasn't on a diet right now, I'm following a fitness nutrition plan, Man, would I be eating out here and trying some really cool stuff. But enjoy, check it out. Um, one thing I wish I could do is the... Uh, it's called the railroad from Durango to Silverton. Check it out if you ever are in town because it's an all-day adventure. The railroad literally goes uh, over the mountains. I wish I could do it, however... I can't. I, I just don't have the time to spend to do it here. And supposedly it's an all-day adventure. So I'm not going to visit Durango just to leave Durango for a day to go on a railroad somewhere else. But uh, check it out. I think they even have a half-day version where you go half of the way there and come back. But it's the Durango Railroad, another top tourist destination. Uh, Durango is a place where... 
Uh, it's just very beautiful and uh, people love it here. I've heard a lot of good things. So I wish I had more time to check it out, but uh, that's my tips for you. It's all uh, fairly straightforward. Use all trails, use Waze, use Google Maps and you'll be good.